Hello everyone and welcome back to What The Shit Saturday. The day where I wonder who I'm going to be dating this time or what. This is called Burning Love, a Yandere simulator dating something. Uh, I forgot who gave this to me, but thanks. Uh, there's no music. I don't know what this is about. I haven't started it yet. Uh, I haven't even looked at it. They're like, just play this, you'll like it. Okay, well, this has never bit me in the ass before. So let's do it now. Let's start. I'm ready to burn some love with something. What's my name? Snoop Doggy Dog. Has everyone ever made that joke before? Surely I'm the only one. Almost five o'clock. At least this is the last room I have to check. What room is this? Where the fuck are we? Jeez. Huh? What's this? There's a sword. Or a knife. What room is this? Where are we even? <laughs> a knife? What's a knife doing in here? And what is it doing on the floor? Pick it up or tell the teacher. What? I'm not telling the teacher nothing. Nothing ever happens when you tell the teacher nothing good. I should probably take it and bring it to a teacher or something. I mean, it looks so fancy. Isn't this supposed to be in that creepy skull? That's kind of a shame. It looks really cool. Huh? There's blood on the other side of it. What the? It even looks fresh. All right, really? Okay, we're just, we're going right into it. Right into Get a teacher now. Stick it in the skull! Why the fuck not? What the fuck's gonna happen? Yo, I've seen, I've seen anime. Nothing's gonna happen. I mean, no one will see the blood if it's in the skull, right? I guess if it's supposed to be there. There, huh? Ah! Whoa, whoa. What, what? What? What's happening? That guy really has to go to the bathroom. <laughs> really, really bad. All right, we got guy that's got to go to the bathroom stupid bad in front of us. Girl be on the left, and is that Morgan on the right? Looks good. Where am I? Uh, what? Monsters? I think we just- Oh my god. Here. How curious. Okay, so first we had no music, and now we have voice acting. All right, I got it. Hello, Grillby, how are you? Where are your glasses, buddy? Huh? Whoa! Who is he? Why is his head on fire? <laughs> if I had a dollar <laughs> for every time I asked that on my dates, I would have a million dollars. Holy shit. And why do I feel like seriously making out with him? All right. Who wrote this? I mean, to be fair, if I saw a dude on fire, my first fucking instinct would be to make why out with him. Why have you come here, I wonder? Oh. oh. Do you have a fascination with the occult? Uh. Or have you come here seeking power? Um, oh, how do I answer? I'm interested in you. I'm lost? That's not gonna go over well. Oh, man. Well, man. Is this a dating sim, right? So I gotta be like, girl, I'm interested in you. Uh, clearly. Oh, are you? What a pity. Aww. I am not interested in you at all. What? Humans are mundane, boring creatures. True. Tell me. Why should I consider you to be worthy of my time? I got a Taco Bell gift card. Do you... No? No? Okay. Well, I'm not giving up now. I've come this far. I'm talking to a fucking flaming demon. You don't understand. I'm interested in you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? This'll do I... it. What? <laughs> what do you mean? It's the same exchange I go through every single time. What? What? Who wrote this? <laughs> You're hot, you're sexy, I want to date you. What, um, I mean, he is hot, he's literally on fire. So surely, literally and figuratively, this is the answer we need. What? How, wait, he's sweating? How is that even possible? Watch your tongue, mortal. Uh oh. Do you have any idea who you are speaking well, to? Well, that's it, we just fucked the whole thing up, didn't we? Uh, not really, but you must be some sort of demon, right? Yes, no, no, uh. What? Uh oh. That is not my name! This is going well so far, I feel. You are unworthy to hear my true name, but you will address me as the Flame Demon! Oh dear. Do I have fiends in my hands? Do I have a fiend for a head? No! Oh. I have flames! Oh. I am the Flame Demon! Oh, okay. Get it right! I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <sighs> Defects in human. Yeah, well, that is me. <sighs> You've caused me to lose my composure. Sorry, man. Let me make it up to you with a date. What, clearly, this is what you should do if you ever 
come across demons, children. Take notes. This is very important. And why exactly would I desire to do such a thing? I don't know. Like I said, I've got Taco Bell gift cards up the ass. You would be stupid to say no. Because you'll have a great time. I have no reason to believe your words. What? Yes, you do. Ta here. Look, I've got like 20 of them right here. I'll make a deal with you. If you go on a date with me and you don't have any fun, I'll give you my soul. Oh, well. <laughs> this is this is a bargain I would not make. <laughs> Foolish human. You do not grasp the consequences of your proposal. Oh. Do you truly wish you wager your eternal soul? I mean, uh, what other chances am I going to have to date a man on fire? Yeah, okay, fine. Yes. I can't get over this feeling inside. I need to date this demon. Wow. Like I said, fight a dollar. Please say yes. Is this human serious? Uh, maybe. So be it, foolish mortal. Woo! I agree to your terms. This is strange. There is no backing out of this bargain now. Uh-oh. I will go on a <clears throat> date with you. Uh-huh. And if I do not enjoy myself, I will consume your soul. All right, well, these things happen. I'm, I'm willing to bet that you're going to have fun once we go to Taco Bell. Deal! Yes, he said yes. This is going to be so much fun. Really? So, this protagonist. Um, uh. Where are we going? Uh, park, diner, or the beach? I don't think I want to take Mr. Flaming McHeadflame to a fucking diner. I don't think that's going to go over well. Let's go somewhere Very where there's well. no people. We will now commence our date. Oh my god. Do not disappoint me, human. Jeez. We'll go to Taco Bell ah, later. Oh, this is nice. This location is pleasant. Yay, he likes it. It's a nice place, perfect for a date. <sighs> Do not think you have won, human. I am not yet enjoying myself. Don't worry, I've got the Taco Bell stuff Proceed right here. Proceed with your attempts to woo. Wait till I pull those out of my pants. Do your worst. He's, <laughs> he's gonna be just falling all over me, right? All right, flame demon, you asked for it. This is ridiculous. Why is your head on fire? Where do demons come from? Who were you before? Should we ask where they come from? I want to know. You truly are an ignorant human. Uh, it's true. To think that you made it this far without knowing such a thing. Uh, well, tell me, please. Uh, uh, no, I don't think we're going to say that. I'm, please tell me. A demon is a human that has discarded their humanity in exchange for great power. I see. A very specific set of circumstances are required in order for a human to become a demon. Oh, we're learning. This is very important. First, a human must somehow commune with a demon. Uh-huh. The human must express their desire to forsake humanity and embrace demonhood. Yes. Go on. If the demon decides that the human is worthy, the demon will offer a deal. Okay. The human must perform a great sacrifice. Like Taco Bell gift cards? After the sacrifice has been performed, I can't think of anything the bigger. The <laughs> demon will grant the human the power that they so desire. So if I give you all of my Taco Bell gift cards, can I become a demon too? I want to be on fire. It is extremely uncommon for a demon to judge a human to be worthy of demon Oh, damn it. Maybe I need more. Why is your head on fire? I'm not going to ask that shit. Who were you before? The year I first drew breath was 1431. Oh. I was born into a wealthy family. You old as shit, boy. I enjoyed a life of privilege and luxury. Okay. Local peasants, unsatisfied with their lot in life, uh -oh. grew envious of my family's wealth. Uh. Eventually, their envy turned to rage. Oh no. One day, a mob of peasants marched into my family's manor, intent on stealing our valuables. Oh dear. My mother and father attempted to resist, but they were no match for dozens of armed Oh peasants. my god, I did not expect feels in my fucking Burning Man simulator. The peasants <gasps> beat my parents savagely. Oh my gosh! When my mother and father were at the brink of death, the peasants burned them alive. Oh my, oh my god, this is serious now. Forget the Taco Bell gift cards, darling. I'm here for you. Holy shit. Oh no. I did- okay. Afterwards, I did not expect this. Peasants raided the manor, taking everything of value. When they were finished, they burned the manor to the ground. Where were you? I hid during the peasants' assault. Oh, I see. And so I escaped without injury. However, I witnessed my parents beaten and burned alive. Oh my gosh, this is like Game of Thrones shit now. I am so sorry for you. 
No, I really am. For what? Uh, for everything you just said? For what you had to go through, it's so sad. <laughs> well, I was able to obtain my revenge in the end. Oh, how did you do that? My desire to take vengeance on the peasants was so strong. This is very that romantic. I <laughs> a demonic ritual to commune with a demon. Oh my. The demon took an interest in me. I see. We struck a deal, and I performed a sacrifice. The demon granted me the power to control fire. Of course. I was reborn into the form that you see before. Well, I don't know about you guys, but this is I'm I'm ready to copulate with this man immediately after hearing all this. Jeez. Jeez. I took my vengeance. The peasants experienced everything that they subjected my parents to. And more. Oh dear. I had become a being that was no longer welcome in the human world. What? And so you once my vengeance was complete, I left the human world for the demon realm. Uh-huh. Oh, we have to ask this. Wow, everything's changed suddenly. <laughs> This is an emotional roller coaster of intrigue and mystery. Why is your head on fire? When a human becomes a demon, <laughs> they are reborn into a more appropriate form. I see. This form was the most appropriate one for me, considering the circumstances of my ascension to demon. Right. It's a nice look on you. That's interesting. I, um. Oh, this, I could fuck this up. B what? Uh, that's a ridiculous statement. Uh oh, did I fuck it up? It's true. How bothersome. Girl, you like me. Don't even play. I got him a little flustered. Good, let's keep at it. How can you tell? He's already fucking flames. Oh, man. How many other demons are there? I never bothered to count the exact number, but I know that there are over 100 of oh, us. Oh, my. Are there any as amazing as you? Oh, we're gonna put the moves on. Where is this coming from? <laughs> I'm just curious. You're so interesting and stuff. I doubt any other demon is like you. <sighs> <laughs> I know the things to say to a demon. He's so adorable when he's fl How can you tell? He looks exactly the same. What do you do all day? There are very few activities available within the demon realm. I can imagine. From the demon realm, one can gaze upon any person or location in the human world. Oh. It is quite amusing. They just watch everybody it have sex like all day or possibly go to the, the bathroom. <laughs> Something like that. Have you ever taken interest to a human? Why would I do that? Because we have Taco Bell gift cards, clearly. I don't know. I mean, it would be more fun than just watching them, don't you think? I've never been interested in humans like that. I am only interested in their souls. Right, because that gives them power, right? Okay, of course. I've seen anime. Their souls? A demon's power and lifespan are determined by the number of human souls that demon has consumed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When See? My power anime wanes, teaches us all. I strike a bargain with a human in order to acquire their soul, so that I may continue living. You can have mine. Some demons prefer to make their lives more interesting by gambling their souls amongst one another. Mm -hmm. Gambling with a foolish or gullible demon is an excellent way to quickly acquire a few human souls. So it's like their, it's like their lifeblood. Some you demons got it. are agreeable, and fraternizing with them can be enjoyable. However, most demons do not make good company. I can imagine, because they don't have any Taco Bell gift cards. Here, you do. Why did I only see three? There were actually dozens of other demons present, but only three chose to make themselves visible to Oh my you. god, and one of them was that guy that really had to go to the bathroom. He was just real interested in me. <laughs> what were the other two demons that I saw with you? Are you asking for their names? A demon's name is a closely guarded secret. To know a demon's human birth name is to have power over that demon. Oh, I see. I will not give you such power. Is it Bob? Frank? Brad? Jared? Tom? Harry? It's Dick, isn't it? When it. a human achieves demonhood, they are granted a title that reflects their nature. I am the Flame Demon. The two demons who accompany me when you enter the demon realm are known as the Pain Demon and the Lust Demon. Oh my dear. Clearly the Lust guy is the one who had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> 
pain demon. Come on, are we getting somewhere? I want to get with this guy. This is very important. About the last few hours of his life as a human. Uh huh. If you want to know his backstory, I suggest you simply speak to him. No, no, I like you better. I think to be honest. Lost demon never talks about herself, and even if she did, I would not be inclined to tell you more about her. Because I am not one to gossip about others. Oh, you're so upright and good. Neither of them are as interesting as you. And how do you know this? I can tell. I know these things. Call it human instinct. Hmm. Are you enjoying yourself at all? Sir? Sir? I... well... Yes? Speaking to a human in this manner. Mm -hmm. Being asked questions. Providing answers. You love it, don't you? Talking about myself. We're in. I... This this is it. We're in. Oh my god, he's blushing. It's not disagree. <laughs> so cute. But to make no mistake, you are not wooing me. I am not wooed. You will have to woo harder. Than I will that. woo you so hard you don't even know what's gonna happen to you. <laughs> I'd like to mention that you look hot. Again, literally and figuratively, we're hitting both sides of the coin on this. I will not be moved by such remarks. If you are attempting to make me swoon, you are failing miserably, what? I... No, I'm not. Oh. It is a jest. You are referencing the fact <laughs> I have a flame for a face. This is amazing. I am referencing that. Your jests are of poor quality, you Oh, I've heard that before. I remain thoroughly unwound. Oh, boy. Th this is an accurate representation of my dating life right here. This, this whole thing has been accurate. Someone's been watching me. Oh shit, what if I fuck up? Oh, God damn it. You must be burning up at that, or you make my heart burn. I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna go with funny because I, oh, I don't know. More flame puns! Oh no, I'm just saying! I grow tired <gasps> No! Of this. this date is over! Oh no, wait, hold Silence. on! Silence! Now your soul is mine! Oh my God, I lost. No! <laughs> Do you guys want to even see more of this? Vote down below. Do we want to get with the flame demon? Do we want to go as far as to see the others? I don't even know. I'm, I'm, I am thoroughly invested in this now. How could I have fucked it up with jokes? This always happens to me. Oh God, let me know. And if you want to see it again, we'll see it for the next one. The shit Saturday. Flame man, come back.